let's try our best to do this difficult problem. It's not that the math is hard, it's that the problem is plugging the stuff into your calculator at the end is kind of difficult. But it's also kind of a weird look problem. So we've got the moon, and it says uh, some people believe that the moon um, <laughs> controls their activities. All right, so if the moon moves from being opposite of you, and then here's, here's you, and here's the world, and then here's the moon opposite of you and the earth, uh, and let's say um, it moves from this opposite side all the way to your side now, right above you. And the um, question is, for A, um, uh, what percentage um, does the moon's gravitational pull increase? So we're looking for the moon's uh, gravitational pull. Uh, and, and, and I guess we can represent that by the force of gravity. Okay, and we're basically just going to try to figure out what F is in the initial state, and then also the final state. And the force, uh, as usual, F would be G, um, and then this is going to be M, M divided by R squared. And uh, so we're just going to have to try to figure out what these distances are. Obviously, if it's G, is going to be the same. For this first M... Um, it's gonna be us, so we're gonna call ourselves MP, I suppose. MP. And then we have M over here, which would be this thing, which is uh, the mass of the moon. So, the mass of the moon. And then um, we have the distance, and that's gonna be a little interesting. So, we have us he being here, and then the moon being out here. So, if we were trying to calculate how far that was, it would actually be this distance right here, which is the distance from the center of the Earth to the moon, and then also adding on the radius of the Earth. So it's going to be all of this distance, um, d plus r squared. And then we're just going to shift this all the way to the other side and kind of calculate the same thing. So we got g, and then mp, m, m, but what's the distance now? It's gonna be this D, but minus an R. Okay, so then we're only left with D minus R over there. D minus R is what's this part right here. All right. And now we basically just have to uh, answer the question. It says, what is the uh, percentage increase here? Percent increase. And so the formula for the percentage increase is, um, essentially supposed to be like 100 times the uh the final minus the initial divided by uh the initial all right isn't this the formula i just want to double check and we're going to put an absolute value here just for the fun of it and then um that is the percentage increase so that's the formula we're going to need to use to solve for a it's actually not that hard we're just going to um uh, we're, 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 we're going to just go ahead and do that. So, uh, FF is G, which is, um, MP, MM over D minus R squared, and then subtract, uh, FO, which is going to be, um, uh, this thing here, G, MP, MM, divided by d plus r squared and uh, we'll go ahead and divide that by the initial which is g m p m m over d plus r squared um, so obviously you can see the g's will cancel mp's will cancel mm's will cancel and we're just left with one over d minus r squared minus um, 1 over d plus r squared, and then technically this is going to be divided by 1 over d plus r, but I'm just going to multiply this whole thing by d plus r squared, and that way I can sort of just put this in there, this will be d plus r squared over d minus r squared. 
minus d plus r squared over d plus r squared. So this is going to turn into a 1. And um, let's just try to calculate d plus r squared. What was d again? Let's just put d over here. D is equal to 3.82 e to the 8th. This is the distance between the center of the Earth to the moon. And then we're going to put the R down as well. R is just the radius of the Earth, 6.37 e to the 6 meters, I suppose. And then we can just go ahead and plug that in. Remember, this is our equation d uh, squared over d minus r squared minus 1. This is it. Um, we plug it in here. So 3.82 e to the 8 plus 6.37 e to the 6. Um, and this has to be squared. And then 3. weird isn't it 3.82 e to the 8m minus 6.37 e to the 6m squared um obviously there's a minus one over there try to plug this into the calculator real quick almost done here we got 3.82 e to the 8 minus 6.37 e to the 6 and uh we should come up with this big number here uh, so it's that, but minus 1, and then uh, we're going to multiply this by 100, so that we get the percentage increase it is actually just equal to 6.9%. Alright. Great, so that's the answer to the first one. We're also going to have to sort of solve for B now. And to solve for B, well, let's sort of redraw that picture on another page. So in this part two, we're going to be taking a look at the weight increase as the moon goes from the opposite side to our side. Now, the interesting thing is we're going to have two terms in our weight because weight is not F, not the force. This is just one force. It's the moon on you. But we have to also take into consideration the Earth effects on us as well. Remember that FG, MG is, um, is, the, is the G plus the mass of the Earth, and the mass of us, and the mass, uh, well, the radius of the Earth squared. So this is what mg is equal to. But keeping in mind, um, let's draw like a force over here, right? And then there's also the force here, right? So two forces are actually pulling on you in this direction, right? And then on this direction, well, there's actually gonna be a little bit less over here, right? Uh, one two so you, you kind of have like this i guess this is a little bit bigger here so there's like a huge force here and then there's these smaller forces that are kind of uh that are kind of being either added or subtracted right so in this side it's the weight of the um what's the force of the earth uh, plus the force of the moon right so it's fe plus fm on this side and then on this side, it's Fe minus Fm, right? Okay, so if we were to do like total force on, on, on the person on this side, it would be, uh, that would be um, the Earth plus the, um, the F on M. Okay, I guess I'll have to put this a little lower though, over here. The total forces is equal to the Earth plus the force of the moon and on this side the total forces is equal to um the force of the earth minus the force of the moon and we already know what the force of the moon is that would be these all right so all we need to do is try to figure out the, the force of the earth on us and we kind of know that already from here so let's start with this we've got the on, on this side it's just gonna be here's our weight uh uh, and, and, and this is technically weight, right? The total total force is our weight. Um, and so that's going to be uh, 
G M E M P divided by R E squared. Okay, and then um, and, and, and we'll just go ahead and subtract uh, the the force of the moon on this side. So it's just M P M M divided by D minus R squared. And on this side, our weight is going to be, and this is initial weight, and this is final weight, but that's going to be G M E M P over R E squared plus G M P M M over D minus R squared. So now you can see, we need to define the total forces on this side, the total forces on that side, and then, well, the total forces is our weight, so that is, um, that's what's going to happen. Now, let's take a look at how we can find the percentage increase formula, right? And percentage increase formula is just going to be 100% times uh, XF minus XO divided by XO. Um, that's going to give us the uh, increase. But keep in mind that we could also um, sort of separate these out a little bit. We're gonna need to simplify this equation as much as possible. So it, technically we could rewrite this as, um, as uh, 100, uh, well here, I'll just simplify the, 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 this part right here because it's XF over XO minus XO over XO. Okay, and so this will just simplify down to a one. So we kind of just want to simplify it to a very small thing. It's going to be 100 times, this is the weight uh, final, divided by the weight initial, minus 1. So when we have to plug this into the calculus, it's going to be crazy. Weight F, that's this. So let's set it up as the uh, fraction here. We've got G, M, E, M, P, divided by R, E, squared, uh, minus G M P M M divided by D minus R squared. Um, I don't know why those parentheses did. But anyway, so uh, G M E M P divided by R E squared plus G M P M M divided by D minus R squared. Now here we can see all the G's will cancel, all the M's will cancel. No, just kidding. Uh, all the MPs will cancel. The MEs will remain. All right. So ME, ME. And so let's rewrite this over here. We have ME over RE squared minus MM divided by D minus R squared. Divide that by... M E over R E squared plus M M over D minus R squared. So when we try to put these into numbers, we're gonna get this stuff. Uh, M E M E is equal to uh, let's check here what that was again. Five point nine eight E to the twenty four. Uh, the mass of the moon, mm, is 7.36 e to the 22. Uh, the radius of the Earth is uh, 6.37 e to the 6. And then the d is uh, 3.82 e to the 8. Okay, so when we plug these into numbers over here, we get 5.98 e to the 24. Actually, I'll, I'll try to do this on the next page here, too. Once again, that's going to be ME over RE squared minus MM over D minus R squared. Divide that by ME over RE squared plus MM over D minus R squared. I'm turning these into numbers. Uh, ME is uh, 5.98 e to the 24. Divide that by 6.37 e to the 6 minus 
7.36e to the 22 over uh, 3.82e to the 8 minus 6.37e to the 6. So as you can see, there's a whole bunch of uh, just being very precise about this here. Um, so I'm four. This is the same thing. Keep in mind there's a squared here. 6.37e to the 6 squared. And really the trouble is going to be plugging this into the calculator because, um, you know, that's when things get really rough. 3.82e to the 8 plus 6.37e to the 6 squared. All right, so let's try to get the calculator up and see what would happen. So the problem is we can't just plug this all into this particular calculator. Maybe if you had a magic calculator that'll just, you know, just give you everything you want, to, right? But sometimes we just have to work this out. So we're gonna try to focus on just the top part and we wanna get the answer for this, all right? So we're just gonna plug in 5.98e to the 24 over, put this in parentheses, 6.37, e to the 6 squared minus uh, 7.36 e to the 22 over 3.82 e to the 8 minus uh, 6.37 e to the 6 squared and uh, that's going to be the top part all right now what we can do is we can sort of put this uh, over like we can we can say um, I guess take the answer and divide that by this right that's gonna be five point um, and let's put this in a huge parenthesis so five point nine eight e to the twenty four divide that by six point three seven e to the oh no we gotta put this in parentheses here parentheses, e to the six uh, squared Plus, and here's another one of these things, 7.36e to the 22, divide that by 3.82e to the 8, plus 6.37e to the 6, squared that, put that in parentheses, we should get this very small number, okay, good. Yeah, so it's really important that so if we kind of take this step by step, I tried plugging this in, I've been working at this for like a whole day, and I finally managed to sort of break this up into the proper steps. Take the answer of this thing, divide it by sort of this thing, and now you're gonna take, um, it's, it's uh, isn't it one minus this or something? We had sort of worked this out earlier. Uh, I guess it's minus one for some reason. Maybe I put these in the wrong order. One second. XF minus XO divided by XO. Yeah. So um, we should. I guess we subtract one. I don't like that number. Oh, that's the right number though. Yeah. Times a hundred. And there you go. Okay, so that's perfect. I guess it's negative because it's a, it's a decrease. So we got this negative 6.85 times 10 to the negative 4. And again, the formula we used for this was this thing here. We went 100 times, and then we had the final over the initial. And all I did was subtract 1. So this is WF, WO, and then we just need to subtract 1 from all that. Multiply that by 100 and we get this answer. Uh, we could simplify that to 0 0.000685. And uh, this is, that's the decrease. All right. Hopefully this helps.